All right, what's poppin'? It's your boy, Big Rich, Queens, New York City, where we get busy. Ladies and gentlemen, come on in. Wipe your feet on the rug. Bless the atmosphere. Let me just tell you what I blew up in the air. White Gelato Plus. Look it up. Delicious. I don't know how these growers do it, but I salute you. Let's get into some business. Coming out the pages of the gangsterreport.com from my main man, Scott Bernstein. Salute to you, sir, as we sprinkle some respect on your name. Pittsburgh Mafia leader Sonny Cuddy dead at 91. La Roca crime family officially closed for business. The last king of the steel town underworld is dead. Pittsburgh mob power Thomas Suddy Chiancuddy died last week at the ripe old age of 91. He was blessed and chosen, as I like to say, possibly holding the title of the final mafia don in La Roca crime family history. Chiancuddy rose to be a capo of the Pittsburgh area's New Kensington County Rackets 40 years ago. He was mentored by Pittsburgh mafia heavyweight Gabriel Kelly Manarino, who died of cancer in 1980. May he rest in peace. Chi and Cuddy was introduced to Manarino through his mother, one of Manarino's blackjack dealers in his widely popular underground casino located in New Kensington during the 1950s and 1960s. Some have speculated that Chi and Cuddy became boss of what was left of the Pittsburgh mob family over the past dozen years or so. That allegation, however, never confirmed. Either way, Chi and Cuddy was the last remaining made member of the crime family when he passed away on July 8th. Most experts trace the end of the La Roca organization to the death of longtime godfather Mike Genovese in 2006. May he rest in peace. The downfall of the crime group is attributed by experts to defections and embracing of open drug dealing and the reclusive Genovese's decision to close ranks and not induct new blood on a regular basis. Chian Cuddy kept his head down regardless, staying out of trouble for the most part and friendly with mob figures in and out of Pennsylvania alike for the sake of growing his expansive gambling empire. His rising star status back in the day was unquestionable and widely known throughout American gangland circles. On the streets, he was known simply as Doc Brown to many, an alias to avoid people having to utter the words Sonny Chiancuddy in public. FBI agents followed crime family namesake, FBI agents followed crime family namesake Sebastian Big John LaRocca and his then conciliary Genovese to an important meeting with higher-ups in the New York's five families. In the spring of 1969, flanked by Sonny Chiancuddy and Kelly Manarino, according to federal court filings connected to Chiancuddy's gambling cases and tax woes. Chiancuddy, then 39 years old, drove the crew of wise guys into Manhattan from the Keystone State to meet with members of the commission. Manarino was one of La Roca's top advisor and a representario of his to other borgatas in the United States. Chiancuddy inherited the New Kensington region rackets from Manarino. For decades, Chiancuddy headquartered his operations out of the SNS vending company in Arnold, Pennsylvania. New Kensington County is 30 miles northeast of downtown Pittsburgh. Per other federal records related to the Pittsburgh organized crime group, Chiancuddy accompanied La Roca and later on Genovese to a number of state funerals around the northeastern and midwestern parts of the country, seen paying his respect to fallen mob luminaries coast to coast. The distinguished La Roca died of natural causes in 1984. Chian Cuddy's criminal record dates back half a century. He was nabbed for tax evasion in 1962 and took a gambling pinch in 1963. The feds busted him for running a large bookmaking operation in 1972 and then again in the year 2000. A one-time associate called Chian Cuddy feared and respected. He knew how to make money, and he knew when and how to throw his weight around. Even though there wasn't much of, if any, viable mob organization left in Pittsburgh for Sonny Chiancuddy to take command of in the late 2000s, the area's top bookmakers like Robert Bobby I. Ianelli and John Duffy Conley, Jeff the Biscuit Risha, and Ronnie Porky Melochi paid protection to Chiancuddy until late in his life for a series of FBI informants and a disgraciad to whoever those rats were. Ian Ellie, a sports gambling legend in Pittsburgh, was the last of the men to take a pinch 
in 2019. So rest in peace to Sonny Chan Cuddy. Uh, this is a great man, I would say. I think you would say the same thing. Great man. Rest in peace. Live the life. And I believe he stood by the code. Salute to Scott Bernstein in the Gangster Report. The link of this story will be found in the description box. Like, comment, and share. Subscribe. Tell a friend to subscribe. We're growing every day, and I salute you for that. Let me know what you're smoking on and what city you're smoking in. Big Ridge, Queens, New York City. White Gelato Plus. Business. We will talk soon. Salute.